All right, we are now going to align our orthographic views. In order to do this, we do not need this section over here. So I'm going to right click on the seam and hit join area and then move my arrow this way. And then click. All right, I usually start this out by developing a compass system. So first off, I'm, I insert a cone into the mix. And the cone what I'm going to do is rotate that 90 degrees in X. Oh, maybe not 90. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's uh, go into the front view here. So one on the keyboard. Let's hit E. Ah, I'm in perspective. That's what it is. So you need to be in ortho front which is five on the number pad. So make sure it says ortho front. Let's see how I can make this so you can see it better. There we go. Notice this is now 90 degrees. Perfect. Okay. Now that kind of makes it so everything else falls into place. Let me illustrate. So my front view is right here, right? And you can see in the front view, what I want to do is rotate this in such a manner that's like this. That would be negative 90 degrees. Now, I can't see it is because the normal is in a different direction. Again, usually we're in solid view because we're modeling. Notice that the actual polygon structure has two sides. But in textured view, it's a different story altogether. Now a thing called a normal comes into play. The normal is facing out in this direction in this case, making it solid on one side. The other side is a back face. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight this and edit I'm going to highlight the face and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to reverse the normal by going into flip direction. There we go. Then I'm going to put its world location at zero, zero, right there for right now. And then I'm going to work on the other view. So I'm going to go back into object mode and highlight my new view. This one, I'm going to make sure that the plane is facing up and it's also facing front. All right. Again, I start by kind of looking at what rotation I need. In this case, I need the same negative 90. Then I'm going to rotate it this way, 90, hop into edit mode and flip its direction. There we go. Top view, same thing, a little bit easier for the top view and the fact that I only need to rotate it in this direction 90 degrees. Good. I'm going to take this, put its object in zero, zero, zero. Take this one, zero that one out too. Perfect. Now you can see that things don't quite line up. Well, I can change that by just going into W and moving this forward just a little bit. And now I can see at an angle, it almost looks like the real plane. That's correct. 
So that aligns the top or the side and the top. For the front, just hop into this view. And I just want to move this over a little bit. The front will never be lined up correctly. Never. We only use the front for weird things like uh, getting the shape of the actual tube that this is going to be from. And we're going to have to make some adjustments once we get geometry into here. But for right now, I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to move this down. And then I'm going to move this over here. So let's try this out. If I hit one on the keyboard, I should get this view. It's my front. This one, three on the keyboard, and now seven on the keyboard. One, three, seven. Perfect. Now I'm not gonna lock them out just yet, yeah, but I am gonna get rid of this. And in the next video, I wanna show you how to align them even better using geometry.